Britain's most famous mower man. A bloke who sowed the seeds for his own success and is now a backyard millionaire. His face is plastered on trailers, trucks and signs around the country. David Jim Penman is the man behind one of Australia's largest franchises, Jim's Mowing. I just love the adventure of it. It's incredibly exciting. David was $35,000 in debt when he started the business in 1982. Now he's raking it in with 4,000 franchises, generating $500 million in revenue every year. I know I'm supposed to be dead, statistically speaking, in 25 years, but I really feel I'm just, just at the beginning of, of, of a fascinating life. A new biography has uncovered who the man behind the beard really is. David's had a very colourful personal life. He's ruthless, tough and isn't phased by fortune, preferring a simple lifestyle. I think I'm learning a lot. I'm becoming a bit wiser. Hopefully not too mature. It is a great story. Jim Penman joins us now from his very own perfectly mowed lawn and garden outside of it. Jim, it is such a wonderful story. It is. It started as a side hustle. You're in debt, out of a job, had 24 bucks, and you started it. Take us back to then. What gave you the motivation? Yeah. Well, um, really, there was nothing else to do. I always wanted to be an academic and uh, did my PhD with a bit of lawn mowing on the side. And when I finished a PhD in history, well, what else do you do for a living? You mow lawns, of course. So that's what I did. <laughs> so... Jim, is, what, what's the secret? Is there a secret? Because we, we just mentioned there, you, you're quite ruthless. You've got a bit of a temper, according to your biography. You even fired your and own... Very, very poor personal skills. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All the wrong things. Your yeah. words. You even fired your own sister. Is, is it that kind of ruthlessness yeah. that made you successful? Well, I am... Um... I've got a lot of reasons why I shouldn't succeed, but I am very passionate about my customers. I, I really, really love giving great customer service and making... I, I want people to sort of... Uh, to wow. I want everybody to be wow, including my franchisees. So that's the basics of it. And then every day you just say, how can I do this better? That, right. That's the secret, I reckon. And we should point out you fired your sister because she was no good at mowing lawns, so she wasn't giving the service <laughs> to customers. Has she forgiven you? <laughs> no. Well, she wasn't mowing lawyers, she was in the office, but yeah, look, she's a bright girl, but it didn't work out somehow. And, uh, yes. my, my franchisee's got to come first. They pay my wages, so I've got to look after them. Yeah, All right. Can, do, do you still mow your own lawns these days? Up at the farm I do. I've got an electric power, battery-powered mower. It's good. Ah. Yeah. yeah I, I like gardening. It's fun. Yeah, well, it is an amazing story. It's a great book, a great Aussie success story. Congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. You wouldn't recognise him without the beard, would you? Jim's book <laughs> is out now in bookstores around the country and online. Looks good. Yep. We have